I was going through the latest stuff on CSS tricks and if you haven't seen this article you can um, pause this video it isn't going anywhere and uh, check it out the link is down uh, not in the basement uh, in the description under the video there's a read more button and you're gonna find all the links there so um, uh, check out uh, this article and um, what I'm going to address now is the fact that it says that you can't uh, do a shape like like a speech bubble or a wavy thing using just the CSS and the clip path um, a clip path with basic shapes because you don't have um, the option of using a path you only have circle ellipse polygon or a rectangle which is the inset function okay so let's see how I do this and by the way I'm not recommending this this is just an exercise it's just to show that it's possible but it's probably not something you should do in practice because the result is going to be hairy so uh, what I've uh, set here is um, uh, two divs each one containing four other divs and I've arranged them and four of them are blue uh, the other four are red and you can see I've sized them uh, arranged them around there and also I've created two mixins one is the bubble mixin and uh, one uh, is a wave mixin and the way um, uh, these are um, started we have a point list which is an empty list at the beginning and at the end we're going to set a clip path um, to a polygon which um, whose vertices are from uh, this point list so let's see how we can um, do this thing so first of all uh, for the bubble we're going to um, have um, a bubble height so this bubble height we're going to take it by default to be 80% uh, of uh, the elements height and then we're going to have um, an um, uh, X offset actually we can no let's call it X offset to make it clear and this is going to be um, the horizontal offset of um, the um, speech bubble tip or whatever you call that arm thing and let's say it's going to be 80% by default and then we're going to have um, um, an angular start point which is going to be um, 70 degrees and then we're going to have an um, um, angular opening uh, and this is going to be let's say 25 degrees and then we're going to have like a precision which let's say it's going to be uh, one degree and now we're going to take um, let's say uh, this um, angular start point and it's going to be this point angular start plus 360 degrees and we need uh, we want to reduce it to the uh, 0 360 degrees interval so um, we make it like that um so um yeah that's it and we create now a flag that um, checks if this angular start point is um if it's um greater than 180 degrees or not so if it's greater than 180 degrees then it's going to be a uh, zero and if it's um, smaller um, it's going to be one all right um, now what uh, we want uh, we also want to have um, what else um, we want this is going to be um, the vertical radius of the speech bubble ellipse thing uh, and this is going to be half the height of the speech bubble then we want to have um, the coordinate the y coordinate of uh, its uh, center and this um, is going uh, to depend on the 
it's going to uh, depend uh, on the um, speech bubble radius, on the vertical radius. And it's also going uh, to uh, depend on uh, this uh, F uh, flag. So if it's um, this uh, this uh, F uh, flag, if it's um, zero, then um, it's going to be in uh, the lower part. So we're going to have one minus uh, F. Wait, one minus F times one hundred. And um, if it's in uh, uh, the upper part, so if it's going to be uh, zero uh, plus. So if it's in uh, the upper part, it's going to be with plus. So if it's zero, it's plus. F. So um, for um, F. Uh, being uh, zero, this uh, gives us 100%. Uh, um, so if it's zero, this gives us 100%. Uh, um, plus. No, it should be minus, so that's like minus there. And if f is 1, this should give us uh, 0 plus b. Well, that works. Okay, this is good. Uh, it's what we wanted. And we also um, want um, the number of points we're going to create uh, for this polygon is going to be uh, ceiling of um, first we need to create an angular uh, sp uh, span and this is going to be uh, 360 degrees minus the angular opening so this is going to be angular span over precision and now we create a loop for i from 0 through n and we have a current angle which is going to be the angular start plus the angular opening uh, plus uh, i times precision and then we're going to have um, the x coordinate, which is going to be 50% uh, times 1 plus cosine this current angle. Then we're going to have y, which is going to be um, cy plus b times uh, sine of the current angle. And now we add these points to the point list. Y and oh, that's a function. Um, and now, now we have bubbles. All right. Uh, so the one thing that we're missing here is going to be um the x um offset um plus. Uh, f times no, uh, this is going to be the y coordinate, not plus. So this is in plus. Um, that's it. Okay, so we have uh, various speech bubbles. So uh, now let's say, um, let's collapse this. Let's collapse this to this to and. Now, uh, let's say we want to have like a height of 65% and um, then uh, the x offset, let's say it's uh, going to be 
and um, the angular start is going to be a uh, minus 75 or uh, 75 degrees so um, and the angular opening let's say it's going to be 36 degrees or um, 45 oh no 45 This looks better. And so, uh, yeah, we can create other versions as well. But now let's um, see how we can do um, the wave. So, um, let's collapse this too. And um, let's see the wave. For the wave, we're going to have... Um, um, we're going to have an offset, which we're going to set it to 15% by default. And then we're going to have... Um, an angular um, span which is going to be um, 540 degrees by default um, and then we're going uh, to have a direction uh, which is going to be a uh, zero for uh, horizontal and one for vertical and we're going to have an end which is going to be a uh, zero for um, uh, left or top and one for um, a right or bottom. Um, and is there anything else needed? Well, we'll see about that. All right. Uh, so um, let's see. Um, we're going. Uh, oh, also a precision, which is also going to be one uh, a degree. Uh, so we're going to need to uh, compute. Um, an X offset let's set this initially to zero uh, an Y offset let's set it initially to zero um, and then we're going to need um, a number of points and the number of points is going to be again a ceiling of um, angular span over precision and now we're going to have a loop and this is going to be our through n and in this loop we're going to have a current angle that's going uh, to go um, I uh, times precision alright and um, going to have an x which is going to be the um, base x offset and we're going to add more stuff to it and base y, y offset and again we're going to add more stuff to it and then we're going to add to the point list um, and this point list is uh, going to be the point list, p list, um, x, y. Um, space separated there. Alright, uh, so uh, let's see. Um, if um, um, the direction is um, horizontal, then uh, the um, x uh, offset is um, going to be um, so if the direction is uh, zero zero then the x offset is going uh, to be either um, the offset for um, for and zero um, or 100% minus offset 
for uh, end one. So, um, if the direction is a zero, then it's going to be um, offset or 100% minus offset. So, um, it's going to be a uh, 1 minus direction. Uh, times. And this um, is going to be... Um, so, um, mm, power of... Um, minus 1 times end uh, times offset and um, 1 end times 100% end times 100% plus okay I think this is it let's make this a bit smaller so we can kind of hard when the font size is this big. Okay, and uh, for the Y offset, it's um, pretty much the same, only the other way around. And if it's um, it's a uh, direction So, um, we're going to have initially uh, two ends but um, more about that later. So, um, if um, the direction, if the direction is uh, a zero, uh, then the x is going to depend on uh, the current angle. So, um, if the uh, direction is zero, then uh, the x is uh, going uh, to depend on the current angle, and it's going to be uh, offset times sinus of the current angle otherwise if the direction is 1 uh, then uh, uh, the x is going uh, we're going to add it's going to be uh, i times 100% over n so uh, this uh, depends on the direction and has nothing to do with the end only the off uh, the x offset then depends on it so this is going to be um, direction times i times 100% over n plus 1 minus direction times offset times sinus of the current angle so yeah I guess this is it and it's exactly the other way around oh. doesn't it? can I expand this a bit? yes it fits Alright, so um, it's pretty much the same, only the other way around for um, y. So this is y, y, um, so we just revert these two. So if we do this here. We got something like this, but we need two more points, um, and we add these points uh, to the initial point list, and we have something uh, like this. We have one hundred percent, one hundred percent, and one hundred percent 
zero. And this we have it in the case of um, zero, uh, zero, direction end, end. And then we have, no, no. Uh, for um, the other end, we have, um, we have uh, zero. And zero. And for the other, so we're gonna have one. And in this case, we're going to have zero and both one hundred percent. And in this case, we're going to have. Uh, one hundred percent zero and zero zero. Okay. This um. So uh, yeah. This sh this should work properly. So uh, this means uh that for uh the first um. The first value. The first um x is going to be um 100 uh, percent if it's at um if it's at the first end and um otherwise it's um so it's going to be um one minus end times 100 percent and if it's at the second end it's going uh, to uh, also depend on the direction so if if it also depends on the direction then it's going to be uh, direction times uh, end and times 100 percent so this is uh, the first volume. And uh, the second volume Oh. Nope. This is not what I was looking for. And uh, the second volume is So it's this 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 so uh and this value is 100% if uh, always if the direction is 0 so uh that's um 1 minus uh, direction times 100% and then it's going to depend uh, on the end if the direction uh, isn't 0 So it's uh, one minus uh, direction, and then it's um, one minus end here. Okay, so this is good. Um, and then for the next uh, set of coordinates, This one, so we don't. Uh, let's take out the first set because we're we're already done with that. So uh, this is uh, going to be uh, zero if the direction is one. So um, if the uh, direction is one, is going to be um, zero. And um, if uh, and if the direction, so uh, it's going to be zero if the direction is one, and if the direction is um, 
uh, zero, then it depends on the end. So it's going to be uh, one minus direction, one minus end. Multiplication there. And um, this one uh, is going to be uh, zero. So let's remove this because you don't need it anymore. And also this one. It's always going to be uh, zero if um, the direction is zero. So uh, this depends on the direction and um, on the end. All right. So um, now that I've done this, I can remove this. And let's say um, 10 percent uh, at 360 degrees, 0, 1. Okay, it's on the other end. And if we go further, something like this, and let's say we have um, 5 and um, 720 and 1 1 and this is going to be uh, 3 and let's do a 4 and this is going to be uh, 1 0 let's say 180 and four. No, that's not enough. Well, let's do something like this: two hundred and seventy. Four hundred and eighty. Yeah, it looks more like a wave like this. Okay, so um, this is it. Anyway. If you have any more ideas of stuff I should record and explain like this, then you can comment down. There's a comment box below under the video. And um, if you don't feel like logging in, you don't have an account, whatever, la la la, uh, you can tell me on Twitter. There's going to be the link in the description. There are going to be a lot of links in the description. So yeah, that's it. That's it, the end for today.